Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another Season 10 Educational Riven Gameplay Guide guys. Today we have the one and only matchup which so many of you, of you guys have been asking for guys. Riven up against Mordekaiser. So we're going to do that matchup today guys. Also I want to talk about uh, the Lethality Riven build because a lot of people have been asking about the actual Lethality build like what the best build is. Um, normally, you would go for Ghostblade, and eventually you would go for, uh, where's this item? You would eventually take the Edge of the Night, but currently, what's been most successful for me has been, like, rushing the Black Cleaver into Ghostblade, and then rushing, like, Guardian Angel after that. That's pretty much, uh, the best build if it comes down to, like, Lethality, which is also really good for snowballing. This, this build is perfect for snowballing. But anyways. Oh, we actually accidentally hit that one. Okay, so this matchup is actually quite interesting. If you can dodge the Mordekaiser Qs, you actually have like an open window for trading. So as soon as he goes to like a Q and he gets to miss that Q, you can actually go in and you can trade him. So you go, he goes with that cannon right there. Like a quick trade here. Just popping my E. Pretty good. He also used the E before that, so that was on cooldown as well. We already know where the enemy jungler is because he actually just shown up on mid lane right now, so he might be coming top very soon. Who knows? But I don't have to place a ward down right now. So this matchup pretty much comes down to dodging the Mordecai secures as much as you can, and also dodging his E. And if you can dodge it. That allows you to trade him over and over again with like short trades. So I'm not going to just walk up to him right now because he could literally jump down a free EQ on me and basically hit that. Okay, just gonna pop the Q, back off again. Now I can actually trade him because everything of him is on cooldown. Okay, he's not giving me that window, but that's no problem. Oh, he actually accidentally hit that one. Okay, I do have to place a ward down right now because we actually don't know where the enemy jungler is. There we go. Well, nice try. So as soon as the jungle uh, gets missing on the map, you should always place a ward down so you can see w uh, when he's gonna come. All right. Grace will go back soon. Just have to relax. I do want to take that cannon though. Let's see if we can make him use a Q. Oh, okay, there it is. Very nice. Back off again. I don't want to get hit by the E. So as soon as we reach level 6, it's going to get even more interesting. We can actually trade him all the way right here. There we go. Back off again because his E is up right now. This is kind of the trading pattern you want to have if you're playing up against a Mordekaiser. It pretty much comes down to dodging his q &E over and over again. And that should give you the window every single time to trade him with like short trades. Now we can go back. There we go. Nice. Perfect. We have like a 15 CS advantage over him already. But he might teleport so who knows. Yeah he does. Alright. So, we're gonna buy a Dorm Blade right here. We're going to buy like an extra one of this. Might as well just upgrade it. There we go. Alright, so... At level 6, things will kind of change a little bit. Uh, the trading pattern is still the same for most part in this matchup. But as soon as you get to level 6, uh, you want to look for like an opportunity where he gets like 70% health. And then kind of playing around your Qs. And eventually look for like an all-in. I'll show you guys the way how that's how that's being done. So the trading pattern is still the same. That's a C right there. That's pretty good. We do have to get rid of the CS first. We shouldn't fight him when there's too many creeps on our side. So we just let him push that in. That's great. I'll just be really quick with this. He might actually drop down another Q. We'll, we'll see. Okay, he's not dropping on the queue. Okay, I'll place down our water real quick. And then we can actually fight him. So I'm charging up my queues right here. 
And now I'm going to see if I can bait him into using the Q. There we go. So we walk up to him. We back off again. He's going to drop another Q. Do him with the Q again. And then back off. His shield is actually completely gone right now. Which means we have an opportunity to go for the all in. Let's see if he takes it. Okay. That's free. Now the thing is... He dropped the Q on us. He came really close to us. And after dropping the Q, he barely had any of his shield. He barely had anything. He had to charge up his shield. And like that's the window uh, for you to go all in and take like the free kill. That's what you want to be looking for in this matchup. So you either get Mordekaiser like low enough so that you can all in him pretty easily. Or, you take a look at when he drops down a Q and E, and then you just simply all in him after. As long as the shield is fully gone, that's like the opportunity for you to get a free kill. So we will uh, quickly go back to base right here. The next item we will buy is going to be the Kino Gem, because that will give us more CDR. There we go. Uh, also buying long swords, and that's it. Great. Like, those are the things which this matchup is pretty much about. That's like the training pattern you want to do. And these are like the kind of things you want to be looking out for. It all comes down, once again, to him using the Q&E, basically dodging it. And then you have like a free window. If he uses shield, if he doesn't have a shield, I mean, then that should be like a free opportunity. Trade him again. He's going to drop E. No, he doesn't. Okay. Good. Now just a matter of fighting him. Charging up the Qs again. Let's see if we can uh, train him. Alright. Now it's just a matter of spamming my Qs over and over again. To have like my passive fully stacked all the time. We can fight him immediately when he comes close. Very good. You want to keep on stacking your Qs over and over again in this matchup. Every single time your Q is back up, you want to look for a trade. You want to just keep constantly Q over and over again. Um, so you have like low cooldown. All the way to the end. This might actually mean that the jungler could potentially be here since he actually got close. No, he's actually made a count. That's the Q. Now I can trade him. Let's see if he gets close enough. Back off again. That's pretty much all you need to know, guys. Nice try. Anyways, uh, we will be going for the Lethality builds like the best build in this current patch which is the black cleaver into ghost blade edge of the night is still a pretty good item on riven but going for the regular bla black cleaver into ghost blade into guardian's angel that's pretty much the core lethality build for riven in the current patch it's pretty much the best build at the moment this guy is here that's quite interesting okay Back off again, got the CS. Just don't relax uh, like this. Try again, no, okay. Dodging it. I didn't want to do the auto, because he could auto me as well. I think he's baiting for someone. He's baiting for somebody. I don't know what that was for. I think he was baiting for somebody, because he... He clearly ulted me and walked backwards. I think, yeah, okay, this guy was here. But I, I saw this guy fighting with somebody else. I think the Mordecai's are kind of messed up here. He trusted too much on this guy, but he got, he got caught in the fight. Like, I, I was clearly watching the map before he ulted. He was close, though, but whatever. Okay, now we can fully push it in. Nice. 
Ah, uh, no, no, you're, I'm not going to do that for you. No. All right, now we can make our way back to base. Now we can actually finish my black lever, and we will probably rush bot lane after this. We will see about that. Uh, I don't want to buy a potion. Okay, I can walk topside right now or go bottom and split push that out over and over again. This game, we want to focus on split pushing as much as possible. Um, okay, that's that's really good. We want to be focusing on split pushing as much as possible and stay ahead of Mordekaiser so that we can like kill him over and over again on the side lanes. Oh, we got this guy. We have we run faster than him. But I got too much damage at the moment. Good. But anyways, guys, saying it once more, if you're looking for, like, the best lethality and snowball build at the current moment, like, in the current patch that we're living in today, then I would say Black Lever uh, into Ghostblade, guys. It's just the best set about that at the moment. I've been doing, like, a lot of testing with loads of builds at the moment. Good. Let me take another plating. Graves is currently mid lane, so that means that the jungler is not here at this moment. I'll take one more. I could easily take like another wave here too. Let's quickly take it. Thank you. Nice ward there. Uh, yeah, we can take the next wave here too. We can just proxy the next wave as well. Just proxy it. We know exactly where the location is of the entire enemy team, so we can just proxy this for free. And by proxying this wave, we can also take this camp here. These guys are fighting. I'll just let them be. Back to the top lane, I'm gonna proxy the next wave as well, and then we're gonna rotate to the wolves. We know where they are, so. Thank you very much. Nice. Graves is around here right now, so we still know exactly where they are. We can just continue doing this over and over again until we get like super fed. We currently have like a 70 CS lead over this guy already, so. Okay, let me just quickly drag it out a little bit. I don't want to take too much damage. Nice. And now back top lane, guys. Going to take all the farm there. This is the kind of way how you want to proxy when you know where people are. Because this could like bring you ahead as well. Nice. We can now go back, buy the Ghost Blade, come back really strong after. Very nice. I'll just buy a ward with me as well. That's gonna be. That's definitely gonna be really useful. And now we're going bot lane. Technically, we could teleport right now and get like multiple kills, but why should we go bot lane at this moment, guys? Why should we? I mean mid lane. I, I was talking about mid lane. Hey, that's Fiddle. The new Fiddle 6 is like really cool. Alright, now we can stay bottom. We can take like loads of kills here. These guys are constantly fighting. We're just constantly pushing it over and over again, like creating massive pressure. There we go, taking all the camps as well. We, we do this over and over again, and this allows us to be, like, really far ahead of Morikaisa soon. There's no wards here. We might get really lucky. Um, maybe not. Okay, I'll let that go. 
We don't necessarily have to fight them right now. We can just continuously like push in bot lane over and over again and like uh, snowballing this way. Let me quickly get all this wave as well. Nice. The dragon is being spawned up right now. Just waiting for my team to actually come over here. Judging on my Qs, we might even potentially get like another kill here. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we can take this wave here. Nice. This is exactly the kind of way how you want to split push on Riven. We're constantly just pressing it over and over again. We're like, um, people are trying to kill me in bot lane at the moment. Like when they try to come bot lane, they're wasting time. And that makes them fall behind. Let's go. My TP was kind of worthless, but no problem. Thank you very much. Alright, now we can go back bot lane once again. And we will like keep on repeating farming and farming up again. Very nice. This is a very consistent way to like win games. Because you don't necessarily make any mistakes, you're just like snowballing through farming all the time. Next wave is going to come here as well. Let's see. Let's see if we can like get like another kill here. I know that that guy is there. I know that guy is there. Don't worry about it. I need slightly more for my Guardian's Angel. Like 250? 250 at most. Uh, the ripoff could be here. Let's see. Okay, it's here, but I'll need to have my teammates. No problem. I'll just push the next wave too. I'll have my Guardian's Angel right now. Nice. Now we can make our way back to base, get the Guardian's Angel, and then come back insanely strong. I might as well change this one to uh, this one. It's always going to be very useful. It's something I've been doing since very recently. Like most people when they play Riven, they either go for like the yellow trinket or they go for like the blue one. But I think I've been experimenting quite a bit. Why would we not split push and use the red one? I think it's so useful. It's already proven itself many times for me, at least. It's been pretty useful. Good. Nice ward. I'll just be farming out everything as I'm, like, walking my way back to bot lane. Let's see if there's, like, any wards out here. There's another one. Like now they're completely out of vision, which is so useful. I could TP down there, I could. But it, it, like, it's much better if I just continue like pushing bot lane. Creating more pressure. We already have like a 110 CS lead over this guy. All right. I might have to teleport. No, I don't have to. I can just continue farming up. Good. Like, if I don't have to TP down to my teammates, then it's fine because I can just take all the farm here and continue pressure over and over again and still create a big lead. 
Mordekaiser hasn't been able to get any kills or any assists because I've constantly been like pushing in over and over again, basically. Mm. Okay. No problem. Maybe there's like some wards down here. Thank you. Those are two wards again, so they don't have vision on the map anymore. Like, this is why I like the red one so much. Nice. The dragon will spawn in five seconds. We could try to get this catch here, this guy. Oh, he's going for me. That's quite interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can get some kills here. All right. He actually ulted me. That's that surprises me so much. Now we can finish. It's like 20 seconds. He's not going to be able to stop us. Good. One more tower. I got my teleport up as well. We just need somebody to ward it down. No problem. I'll just be right back. But I like to do a lot lately. It's something that not many people do, but I think it's really nice. Uh, let me grab my mercs here. <clears throat> what I've been doing quite a bit lately is going Black Lever into Ghostblade, into Guardian's Angel, like the usual core build for the Thaddeity Riven, and then going into Death Stance. It's something that not many people do, but I think it's something which... I think it's actually something which is quite, quite, not OP, but quite strong, actually. It's not OP, but I think that stance is the perfect um, item that you could fit into, like, a, a lethality build. Because it's both um, aggressive, but also, like, defensive. I think it fits pretty well. Alright, thank you very much. Uh, never mind about this. I'm just constantly taking their cams over and over again. They're so far behind. I have to wait for my, uh... Thank you. Yeah, we got her. Okay, that's it. Yeah, this is pretty much the Lethality build, guys. The one and only. And also the Mordekaiser matchup. Hopefully you guys have learned something today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your games. And once again, if you guys want to see like the full runes, full build, the setup, don't forget to check out the description, guys. And also, if you want to see... Challenger Riven Games, high elo good Riven Games, don't forget to check out my Twitch. Don't forget because I'm streaming almost every single day, guys. Don't forget. But anyways, thank you for watching today, guys. And I'll see you guys uh, soon with the next video. Peace.